Mates, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, Sias Uti Nyanga Yo Mama. Le Nyanga Yembo Goto Pela. Nam Sanji, we are honored to have Usisi Usindi Mkuteni, CEO of Kuji Consulting and Business Development Director, um, Sintegricon Solutions and founder of MyGolf Foundation. Sisindi, thank you so much for joining us. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you. Mkuteni, where are you guys from? <laughs> where are your people from? My people. Um, my people are from Ekwakua, okay. Eastern Cape. Ekwakua. Ekwakua. Eh, eh, okay. <laughs> and it's a very tricky one because mm. Nkule in a very um, Sutu environment because okay. I'm, I'm born, and born and bred in Johannesburg okay. and my father's side is a Kosa family. Oh, so yes. with divorces and all of that yes, unlikely yes. things, yes. I'm, more, I'm more Sutu than I am Kosa. But mm. yes, I'm a Nkuteni from Ekua. Yeah, we never ask for it as kids, isn't it? That parents go their way. Yeah. You know, always. but we just got to adapt it to what is happening. Absolutely. As long as they love us. Mm. You know, mm -hmm. and there's no conflict between Tina and whoever went. Absolutely. Isn't it? It Absolutely. give us peace of mind at the end of the day. Absolutely. It serves as a, I don't know, a warning that mm, I don't want to go this way. Exactly. It actually motivates you. I mean, I'm not yet married, yeah. <laughs> but my endeavor is really to have a, a family, you know. Mm -hmm. And I think it's because I, I didn't have the full family failure. Yes, yes. And so it does definitely change your perspective to things. All right, let's get into in, into our interview. What does Women's Month mean to you? Some people have regarded it as quite controversial. It's so frivolous. Yeah, you know? yeah. It's one of those months like, okay, let's give it to them. <laughs> let them enjoy it. <laughs> oh, let them have it. Yeah. What does it mean to you? To me, you know, as women, I think um, we've always been undermined. If you look at our culture um, in South Africa, or in, let's say our black culture, mm -hmm. um, you know, our parents were never expected to study. Our parents were never expected to do certain things. It was always a male-dominated area and female dominated area and I think what Women's Month means to me is the diversity and the connection between whether it be it business, whether it be it home chores, I think there has to be some sort of gender equality. Mm -hmm. So Women's Month needs to celebrate the capability and the diverseness of women, that we can be in a construction site yeah. and do some construction work. We can be like I'm within the ICT, the technology sector, which is very male dominated. Mm -hmm. you know, when you attend meetings, you're probably the only woman in the room and that needs to be celebrated because this is what we never had before. Mm -hmm. So that's what it means to me. And, and and it's always been ironic to me yeah. that all these men that come up with these laws, mm. patriarchal laws, oppressive laws, mm. I mean, when you go back to the United States, women were not allowed to vote. Absolutely. You, you know, um, uh, the great march of, yes. of those wonderful, wonderful women. Yes. We've got women inventors, women Absolutely. freedom fighters, Absolutely. Uh, spiritual leaders. Mm. But all these men come up with these laws mm. and they come from women. Mm. I, I, I don't understand someone who would oppress another woman exactly. whilst you were born yeah. by a woman. Mm. And know? I mean, behind every successful man, I don't know if you believe in this, but behind every successful man, there is that powerful woman. Mm -hmm. Do you agree? I don't know, I agree. Okay. When she is there. <laughs> when she's there, yes. absolutely. Yes. Yeah. The yeah. one that does not get the credit. Yes. You know, you come sleepless yes. nights, the yes. projects didn't go well. Exactly. She's there to pick you up absolutely. spiritually. Absolutely. You know? Yeah. And, 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 and a lot of people don't, don't get that. Mm. That you wouldn't be who you are to, in, in totality, has she not been there yes, for you? Yes, you know, when yes. you are down and you're crying, like, yes. she's there for We've you. We've got the heart. We've and got the big heart. And, and we take the burden on. I mean, mm. my mom, you know, as a woman, she raised us very well without a father. <laughs> my father was alive, but... Mm -hmm. She did it on her own, and I'm so proud of who I have become mm -hmm. from just the hands of a mother. Mm -hmm. So the, the strength that women have between what a dad, a, a woman can be a mom and a, and a father, but I don't see it likely with males, where they cannot be both. They can mm -hmm. try, but women perfect it to the ultimate. I don't want to go into, no, I'm in agreement, first of all, right? Okay. I, I agree that those roles can be played, but the woman can. Uh, I, 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 please. Uh, indulge me. Okay. Uh, 
it, it is a very symbolic thing yeah. that they assume those duties. Mm. But mm. one or another does not replace, isn't mm. it? Absolutely. But you, you're right Absolutely. in saying that when it comes to men, mm. although in little numbers, yes, there are those, both roles yes. is, is quite difficult. Mm. It's just that you find on 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 Father's Day, uh, you, you'll have the post that you know, Happy Father's Day to all this. You, you'll never find the guy is is an idiot. Yeah. But it will never be a father. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? I'm with you. It, it, it'll never, it'll never be. And I, and, and, and in some instances, if I, if I'm separated mm. with you, but I'm fully present in my child's life, I, I, I do my duties. Yes. You are, you are, you are not a single parent, you're co-parenting. Okay, you're right. <laughs> you you're know right. what I mean? Yep. You're co-parenting. Yep. I don't like, as much as males do this, I don't like that responsibility of good men being taken away from them. Okay. You know, I too. Your point Your point is across, and, and okay. I'm quite sure you're not just saying this. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> you, no, no. You, you are saying this from experience, and yes, you're right. You're yes. certainly right. We digress. Okay. <laughs> Come back. Let's bring it back. Bring it back. Okay. <laughs> Now, you, you um, tell us about Kuji Consulting. Kuji Consulting is my baby. Mm -hmm. um, I, I've been very entrepreneurial throughout my life. Um, I registered it in 2009. I was a, still a salesperson at a comms tech. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm a telesales person. I'm hacking calls and I'm selling. Yeah. And lunchtime, I would go to meetings with, um, with mining gurus about yeah. selling coal. Mm -hmm. So I was really ambitious and I registered the company Kuji Consulting. So Kuji literally traded in any opportunity that came my way. Okay. While I was comfortable with my job and delivering, I've actually I won salesperson of the month, I've been to Zanzibar, I won salesperson of the quarter. So I did very well at work, but I also had this endeavor to do business. Mm -hmm. Uh, this was at Comstake around 2009, yeah. And then, um, I mean, the business was registered. It didn't have a specific business, um, an industry that it traded in. Mm -hmm. um, but I just wanted to make money, you know, and yeah. I was out there. Uh, the company made, I eventually went full time into the business for two years mm -hmm. in 2013. I ran the business for two years with great difficulty though. Uh, I was trading in printing and branding. Yeah. I had clients like Denel Aviation, Are you serious? Auditor General South Africa, but I always got the little work, like the 20,000 rand, 30,000 mm -hmm. rand work. Mm -hmm. Eventually I got a good order. Mm -hmm. And guess what my problem was? Financing. I literally had to, I still remember, I had to go back to Denel Aviation and give back no. the order. Delivery times were tight, banks were giving me long, you know, they wouldn't give me money immediately, they'd say, look, we need three weeks and I had to deliver and get stock and whatever. So that was, I wouldn't say the end of Kuji, but this is when I said, okay, maybe I need to go back to employment, <laughs> you know. Um, I then met my business partner, which is Centericom Solutions. I've got 31% shares there. Okay. And um, so as much as Kuji is still alive, you know, Kuji has possibility, it's got the years in business, it's got good financials and everything, but it's not completely active. Mm -hmm. um, but it's it's my business, it's my baby. I'm now full-time at Centericom Solutions, where I'm a 31% shareholder. And what, what do you guys do there? At uh, Centericom, now Kuji was printing and branding. Centericom is the technology sector. So we do, we do systems integration. We've okay. got very clever programmers mm -hmm. where we design systems that assist in efficiency. I'll give you an example. Within the water and sanitation space, mm -hmm. we would design a system that will communicate when a leakage is identified wow. and, and ensure that it's served like immediate response, real-time response to head office to disperse the people to come fix that problem. Yeah. You know, this is what we're trying to get into the market and that is my love for the business. Mm -hmm. uh, we do things like queuing management systems We've got one at Mamelodi Hospital, and the, it manages the queue from when the patient gets in to when the patient leaves, how long they've been there, how long they spent in each section of the queue. Wow. Um, and how would it do this? So we, so it's a queuing system. You get yeah. a ticket. Yes. You go through to whether you need to go vital sciences or you need to go straight into x-rays or you need to go to see a particular doctor. So the ticket will literally cue you. So there will be a screen. Right. So it will cue. So it's typical of to uh, your effort be but much more advanced. Yeah. Because what it does is it, it will then calculate from this cue. The doctor can redivert you to another cue 
and you start queuing there before you're there and from there it will direct you to another queue and it will communicate with whoever at head office or the MD or CEO of the hospital can pull a report to say how many patients have we served, where is the backlog, you know, where, are, where is it that patients take long to be serviced, um, do we need manpower there, so in terms of strategic um, your management of the hospital and this is for the people. So the passion I have for the company is because the solutions that we have really feed back to the people. They yeah. help our country. And I think as, as South Africa, we need systems like that to oh, manage absolutely. our processes. The world is, is progress far beyond. Absol absolutely. And so, the world is taken behind. Yeah, we are. But we, we're getting there. I think there's much more. I mean, we're doing some work with government. There is some leverage of wanting to do things right. I mean, with JMPD, mm -hmm. we've got a system where it's a mobile app where um, a police officer can infringe you on the app. So they complete the document on there, they take pictures, videos, um, they, everything is real time. Immediately when they submit is a docket that can never be lost because it then logs it in um, on the webs on this, uh, what is it? <laughs> it logs it in the cloud, in yeah, the cloud. Yeah. And that, do so no docket. So if, um, Courts need to access particular documents. They, they just go straight on there. So it's, it's really systems that empower people with really smart ways of doing it. I, I, you know, I've got an idea, but if we if we speak about it, um, yeah. uh, 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 perhaps then. Uh, I mean, I'm in the media space, mm. but I like what you're saying. I like things that are easy, mm. you know. Mm. Um, no, unfortunately, we can't get husbands that are easy, uh, wives <laughs> that are easy through such solutions, you know, to make everything easy. But we can't. Okay. But uh, I've got, I've got something. I'll, I'll talk to you mm. um, after the show. Mm. Let's get to uh, my uh, my golf foundation. I mean, this is a very lovely sport. Mm. Um, it's 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 now growing in, in the African community. Mm. You know, earlier golfers were were abo abo. Baba U, 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 George Lamini, mm. you know, from Swaziland. Mm. He, he used to be that guy. Mm. And um, quite an expensive sport to maintain, especially if you want to go professionally. Mm. You know, obviously, Tiger Woods' story is one of inspiration. <laughs> Absolutely. You know what I mean? Yes, yes you got any else. You got yes. Schwarzel, you got Uwe Stenz, yeah. you got the Retief Hoos. Oh, and, you are a golfer. Yeah. <laughs> but tell us about your foundation and what it aims to do. Oh, this is actually a beautiful story. Um, I'm a golfer myself yeah. now. What's your handicap? Uh, my handicap. Are you sure you want me to play <laughs> <Okay>. on TV? <laughs> Go to handicaps. <laughs> yeah. But do play with me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, the so I'm um, so while I was busy with Kuji, mm -hmm. I met a mentor. Yeah. My mentor was a golfer of notes, mm -hmm. and he told me about this sport and said golf, and I thought golf yeah. I know okay actually let me try this you know I went to Woodmead World of Golf yes, I got a coach and I bought my clubs and I was excited I even took a picture and mm. said got mm. my clubs you mm. know and quite frankly I really started loving the sport I mm. fell so much in love with it um, to a point where when I visit so I play most Sundays after church mm. and I'd go back home for lunch with my parents in, in Soweto yeah and then um, I'd get there and the kids would run to me you know, golf, he, oh, Tiger Woods. I'm like, mm. ah, this is not Tiger Woods. Mm. These are golf clubs, yeah. not Tiger Woods. Can we touch them? Can we feel them? And I'm like, okay, guys, they touch. And I, how do you? And I'm like, no, this is how you hold it. Mm -hmm. But anyway, come back next week, guys, because now I need to sit down, relax, whatever. The next week, I have like 10 kids. Mm -hmm. No, she's there. Mama and Bola, they run to me and show us one more thing, one more thing. And I show them until we decided, okay, I said, look, Saturday at this time we meet and I show you for at least for like 20 minutes because yes. now you randomly come you know let me just prepare myself um I was still staying in Senton at the time mm. my mom would call me hey my lover golf you know they're here Cindy okay <laughs> and I'm thinking I had a hectic Friday yeah. anyway so that's how it started I started training them um to a point where the parents got involved wow. the kids started loving the sport I did it for two years before registering the, the foundation because for me it was really just spending some time with the kids. I do have love for kids. I've mm -hmm. been involved in charity a lot. Um, and then eventually we got it registered. The world, right now, uh, Mr. Barber, mm -hmm. who is the head of corporate golf in South Africa, is, I mean, he's on a 
touch dial. You know, wow. I posted some stuff on Twitter. Yeah. Um, the world of golf saw it. Play More Golf is supporting us. So we're looking at really expanding. I mean, the support is amazing because they understand that the future of golf is actually in the majority. Yeah. It is in the kids. So if you mm -hmm. teach them young, if they've got any industrial stuff they need to sell or whatever, the future of golf as an industry is from the kids. So we're actually feeding, you know, we're doing well to accomplish that. Um, but however, on the other side, I think young black Africans um, need to be exposed to the sport. It has helped me a lot in networking. Yes. It has helped me a lot in just being able to communi communicate at one level with a CEO of Prasa. Yes. You know, I played with him not long ago at um, Eye of Africa. Mm -hmm. and That's a good golf course. It's, um, it's, it's, it's lovely. Yeah. It's lovely. Yeah. I, it was quite cold, yeah. but um, I loved it. I enjoyed it. It's, yeah. it's, it's stunning. And yeah, so I think there's a need for young golfers. Um, I need. I think there's a need for exposure within the sport, and I also think the sport teaches a lot of discipline. Um, mm. You know, it teaches you patience. It teaches oh, you course. when you're in the rough. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. You're like, okay, how am I yeah. getting out of it? Yeah. And you need strategy. No, obviously. You know, sometimes you you slanted and yeah. you really can't move your yeah. ball because you're in the rough. Yeah, and how irritating it is uh, to be overpowered, man. Uh, no. No. Now you're gonna work hard. harder. Exactly, and the fact that it's 18 holes. Yes. You mess up the first few holes, and then you get to like your eighth hole. Yeah. And then you think it's okay. You know I that carriage. Yes. There's more yes. uh, uh, holes to go, yes. so I can make it up. Yes. You know, just that mentality. It's like if you were to go into a business a block of something and you have that mentality of no I still have more to go actually it it does instill in you you have more perseverance mm. to not getting things right the first time because with golf it's it's also like that you and I will not finish. Yes, we'll go on. I'll uh, go on. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, the, I'm like trying to put the stop button and I know I got the moon. Okay. Listen, mm. um, if people want to get in touch of uh, in touch with you, mm. um, where can they find you? Okay, so I've got a Facebook page, uh, which is Cindy dot no Cindy Puteni mm -hmm. on my Facebook. Yeah. You should not miss me. And then I've got a Twitter account, yeah. which is Cindy Puteni two, mm -hmm. so the number two at the end. Yeah, bro. And then I've got Instagram, which is Cindy Puteni. Um, and then email, you can email on mygolffoundation at gmail dot com. Mm -hmm. And telephone number. Um, I will give you 063-502-9369. So yeah, you can get a hold of me on that, and hopefully we'll have an office and set up. Yes. <laughs> so no. Uh, uh, inspirational stuff. Thank you so much. Not many women will really venture into the uh, the, the world of golf because many have been made golf widows on on weekends, isn't it? <laughs> oh, they look yeah. at the <laughs> you know I mean? But then it's when you teach yourself yeah. that you begin to enjoy it as well. Absolutely. So you got your clubs, he's got his clubs, exactly. and then you go going. You know what I mean? And I always say that. My husband has to be a golfer because what? I cannot imagine. Th sorry, you think I ha those are high no, standards? No, 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 okay. no. Prescriptive, but hey, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was okay. meeting some guy saying, "Do you play oh golf?" So <laughs> we won't finish. Okay, it's a Thank you. Thank you, so much, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. for coming to the show. One of the most beautiful, intelligent women and astute business women is uh, Ngabatola. Let's support them. Uh, supporting my initiatives are uh, okay, our Ayans are really making our community proud. Uh, Pingle Country Club. Yo, Sakuli Corner, like Pingle Country Club. Say, yeah, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to Cry the beloved cause. But again, yeah, some which is not good because we must put our celebrity on the Pingle uh, Country Club. Say, I'm going to go Eagle Canyon, IF Africa. Say, I'm going to go to Oh, the best one you've got to go to is Zimbabwe because that's a nice one as well. But it's time to go to for coming to the show.